first reading a reading from the book of ecclesiastes chapter 11 verses 9 to 10 chapter 12 verses 1 to 8 rejoice o young man while you are young and let your heart be glad in the days of your youth follow the ways of your heart the vision of your eyes yet understand that as regards all this god will bring to you judgment ward off grief from your heart and put away trouble from your presence though the dawn of your youth is fleeting remember your creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come and the years approach of which you will say i have no pleasure in them before the sun is darkened and the light and the moon and the stars while the clouds return after the rain when the guardians of the house tremble and the strong men are bent and the grinders are idle because they are few and they who look through the windows grow blind when the doors to the street are shut and the sound of the mill is low when one waits for the chirp of a bird but all the daughters of song are suppressed and one fears heights and perils in the street when the almond tree blooms and the locust grows sluggish and the caper berry is without effect because man goes to his lasting home and monos go about the streets before the silver cord is snapped and the golden bowl is broken and the pitcher is shattered at the spring and the broken pulley falls into the well and the dust returns to the earth as it once was and the life breath returns to god who gave it vanity of vanities says kohelet all things are vanity the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel according to st luke chapter 9 verses 43 to 45 while they were all amazed at his every deed jesus said to his disciples pay attention to what i am telling you the son of man is to be handed over to men but they did not understand this saying its meaning was hidden from them so that they would not understand it and they were afraid to ask him about this saying the gospel of the lord my dear friends in jesus christ in today's gospel jesus tells his disciples his chosen ones about his death he says son of man will be handed over to the men about his death but yet they didn't understand and the meaning was kept hidden from them also that is very uh, similar to our lives as well sometimes dear friends we do not know what is god's will what is what does god want with us or the will of god in our lives sometimes we think it is all hidden in our lives we may not realize even the presence of god is god there i am praying day in and day out but i don't i don't feel that god is listening to my prayers god is there when i pray i feel all dryness and i feel there is a void within me have i done something wrong we ask all these questions when we feel that the god experience within us is dry sometimes my dear friends this is a common thing that we all face every day many saints have that that experience as well it is not often that our prayer then we when we pray we seek consolation people always tell father when we pray we feel consoled our problem seems so far and we feel relaxed or when we we feel everything is back to normal my dear friends the duty of a prayer the reason that we pray is not to seek consolation but to have an experience of god this common mistake that we make that is to seek consolation in prayer could sometimes be very addictive and also 
it could lead us to disappointment and discouragement in prayer because prayer will not always give us consolation because prayer is a moment of truth when we pray we pray to God asking for something or we pray for some intentions but our conscience is clear it will prick when we ask something in an unworthy manner if you are not worthy to be in the presence of God and ask our conscience will say how could you how dare you and prayer often disturbs us and it should prayer should disturb us prayer should lead us to truth about ourselves it should lead us deeper into ourselves thereby we will know who God is the more we go deeper into ourselves we will realize God there my dear friends like in the gospel today the disciples didn't understand when Jesus told about his suffering and death and the meaning was kept hidden from them certain things are not told to us as well we try to unravel as we go so in our lives dear friends it is very important for us to realize that God is in charge of everything and to surrender to God is important whether we understand our future or not Heavenly Father we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us inspire us more and more so that we may come to the realization that you are in control of our lives that you lead our lives though we are not sure about our future help us to realize that our lives are safe in your hands so that we may be dependent on your grace all the days of our lives amen <laughs>